Hey guys! So today I will be teaching you guys how to play four chords. It's going to be G major, C major, E minor, and then D major. And if you keep sticking to my videos, you'll be able to play what I just played in the beginning. According to Will Schmidt in 1998, who is a well-respected German music critic, guitar is one of the most comprehensive music options that provides individuals a self-motivating music outlet. And I believe this is true because I've been playing guitar since I was in freshman year of high school. And I've been playing on my church team since then. So first things first, you're gonna need one of these. You gotta need, need a guitar. And you need to know what beginner music theory is, like what chords are and what notes are. And then you also need to learn how to first tune your guitar so that you actually play the right notes. Okay, so let's start with the G major chord. So I will put all the chords in this corner. And I got all these chords from Fender, which is a famous guitar website who was founded in 1946 and they sell everything about instruments especially guitars and my guitar is even from fender so the blue dots in the picture represent the fingers that you will put down and then the blue circles on top of the of the small boxes those are open strings so you won't put any fingers on them and then the little lines the horizontal ones represent the frets which are each one of these lines. So for G, you see that we, we're gonna have three fingers placed down and on the bottom string, which is the thickest one, we call it the bottom string because it's the lowest pitch. So we put our middle finger down on the third fret. So you just count one, two, three. So th that gives us one of our notes. And for a chord on a guitar, we play every single string. And when you combine all those notes together, it makes a nice chord. So middle finger, on the third fret of the lower string and the first finger on the second string on the second fret like this and then the next three strings are going to be open so so we don't need to do anything just from one two three so that's gonna sound like that so for the highest string we're gonna use our ring finger and it's also gonna be on the third fret again so right there and you just and then when you put it all together and then you get a nice G chord. And next we'll learn the C chord, which is right here again. Now notice that there's an X now where the O's were, and the X represents that you don't play the string at all. And this is because there's no note this close of a range that part of the C major chord. So we leave this one blank, we don't play at all. On the second string, we use our ring finger on the third fret. And then third string, middle finger on the second fret. And then we leave the fourth string open, fifth string pointer finger on the first fret, and the sixth string open. And then when you play all of them, excluding the bottom one, it should sound like this. It's a C major chord. And now for the E minor chord, even though the, the minor part, the word minor might make it sound scary, but it just looks like this. So there's only two dots, so we only put two fingers down, and then the rest of them are open. There's going to be two fingers on the second fret, of the second and third string and now you can either choose to use your pointer and middle or you can use your middle and ring it does not matter so it should sound like this and now for the d major chord this is what your finger should look like and now notice that there's two x's now it's like the c major chord where there's no notes in the chord on the bottom two strings so we start with the open third string and then pointer finger on the second fret of the fourth string ring finger on the third fret of the fifth string and then middle finger on the second fret of the sixth string and then all together is and make sure you don't play the last two strings especially for the d major chord because it's really obvious when you do now that you know the where your finger should be and how it should sound here are some other tips to help you practice and learn so for our thumb when we place down our fingers here we don't want our thumb to be like up here unless you're advanced and that's comfortable for you. But for most beginners, the thumb should be perpendicular around here. It shouldn't be like locked straight. It should be rounded and flexible. It should be in the middle between your pointer finger and your middle finger. Another tip is to make sure you cut your fingernails before playing because if they're too long, it'll be hard to press down on the string because where you want to press down the string is the fat on the tip of your finger. You don't want to use your nails or use the flat side of your finger. Because if you use the flat side, you'll end up pressing on more than one string. And using the nail is not comfortable and it could hurt a lot. Now that we've learned all four chords, the G major, 
the C major, the E minor, and the D major, we can put it all together now. And here is the adding strumming. Now with these four chords, you can basically play any pop song you like. Alright, now that you know all this information, all is left is for you to go and practice. Alright, thank you so much for watching. I will put the link in the description down below to the Fender website where I found all of the chord charts. Make sure to like and subscribe and make sure to hit the bell notification so you get notified when I post my next video, which is going to be on strumming so we can start playing some movies. Like, bye!